Hey, Brian, remember when we had that giant spider problem? Yeah. And we bought that rat to eat the spiders? Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't seen the rat in a while. I found this article about a giant mutated rat killing people. Right here in America. You don't think... There's no way. It has to be a coincidence. Where did you find this article? Let's see. Here it is. This is a review for a Jagged Edge Productions movie. Maybe the movie can tell us where to find the rat we bought. Fine, but we're watching it at one and a half times speed. I've got things to do. Like what? Anything. Anything else. So, that was interesting. I think we just discovered how to watch a Jagged Edge movie. When you speed them up, it's like magic happens. I mean, the conversations still take way too long, but the fight scenes are instantly improved 100%. Maybe they have a problem with their editing software and all the scenes get slowed down when they export them. So what did we learn? First, we learned that Jagged Edge does not understand America. Yeah, they set this movie in the United States, as indicated by the detective's business card, which reads, United States of America, Police Force, Detective Norton. And everyone is either doing horrible American accents or not bothering at all. And the news reporter just forgot which continent she was on altogether. So, we start with a couple who have a lab at their house. Cozy American Cottage Lab, like we all have, here in America. They're probably trying to invent a better cheeseburger. Because they're in America. Yes. And then the dude gets killed by a furry. I think that was a mutated rat, but yes. It was a furry. Then we get our favorite dollar store Russell Brand in a lead role this time. And he was, uh, wait, what was he? It takes an hour, but we eventually find out he was a zoologist. The clearly American police bring him in to help, as we do here in America. They investigate the scene. Then the wife of the dead guy gives Russell Brand a lot of gin. Straight. Straight gin. Like we do right here in America. More people die, more talking, more America. Then we discover that the widowed wife... The gin wife. Yes, the American widow, full of gin, is responsible for the furry. So there's a final showdown. They turn on some gas to try and kill the furry, but instead it makes it grow to the size of a house. For reasons. Then it explodes. But just because not because of anything they did yep in america so i don't think this movie is going to help us find out what happened to that rat we bought but i do feel really patriotic oh i remember i gave the rat to my old karate master he said he was going to train him in the ways of life protection he was going to teach a rat karate i guess now i'm kind of curious to see if it worked let me call and see. Okay. Hi, Master, it, it's me. Siege. Siege. Your old student? No, the other one. Do you remember when I sold you that rat? I was just curious how that was going. Um. He's crying. He, he what? It's okay, Master. Why don't you come over for some tea and we'll talk about it? Sure. What what happened? He said the rat opened up his own school and took his other student. He only had two students? Yes. Apparently both named Siege. Well, not my problem. <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.